chirp, 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 chirp. That's that. That hard signal to go. I do nice. That's just the best I got. It's the best I've got. Well, listen, this is Acrylic Painting Mondays with Ginger Cook and uh, your, uh, our fellow that you'll see later, that the nice deep voice that's going to be answering questions and for you or giving them to me to answer in the live chat is John Little. He's my significant other. And other than that, he's also the one that runs all the cameras and zooms in and zooms out. And, uh, and, and then we've nuts. got this great group of moderators that are here to make the live chat fun. And if you haven't joined us before on a Monday, Monday nights are fun. You can always watch the videos again. We leave them up. But there's something about the, the excitement of Monday. And also, we do this fantastic giveaway. Thanks to Salvador Paints. Uh, they, uh, they've been giving away a uh, full set of, of paints uh, every week now for uh, over a for, year for over a year which is pretty darn nice right yeah and um and we we tell you we're going to be painting with those we'll show you a little bit about that we're going to be painting tonight a couple of kids in a mud puddle that are having a good time maybe walking home from the playground and um so uh, this will be fun we've i think different something we haven't done in a while and what i like about this is that these can be anybody's kids. You change the hair color a little bit, change the hairstyle, and it could be anybody. So that's what makes it really nice, particularly when and we're painting the children from behind. So uh, why don't you scoot down, down, down here, John, and I'll show you what we're talking about. I'd be scooted. Um, it, here's our here's our reference photo, and you see because the kids are behind, you can leave off this uh, hood maybe, and then make some long dark hair here or long blonde hair. It doesn't it doesn't have to be a curly haired boy; it could be a different child. But there's something about children in mud puddles, and after rain, they they're, they're it's like dogs in cement. If you ever played at, laid any cement, dogs from mile around will come to run right through it, put their paws in it. Kids love puddles. And I think this is sort of kind of it's going to epitomize the spring. So, again, who do we got out there for moderators, John? Well, this evening we have Lady Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Lady Liz. Lady Mona. Hi. Mona. Lady, Lady Luann. Luann? Hey, Luann. I'm sure Judy's running Luan. around somewhere. She just hasn't spoke yet. Again, when it looks like the full staff is in. Uh, Lynn is still missing in action. She she is having computer issues, the poor thing. Well, gosh, and everybody knows what that's like. Yeah, that's, you might as well just cut off your right arm. You know, I'm telling you what, I'm telling you what, we've all gotten so dependent on this. And, you know, this is a global show. I mean, we have people from around the world that watch it, and... Um, we that just want to global. welcome everybody. If you haven't already uh, subscribed to the channel, now would be a nifty time to do yeah, it. Yeah, we'll wait for you. Just go, go ahead and go do ahead, it. Go just ahead and subscribe now. Ra raise your hand once it's do. done. And, uh, and just know that we're going to be chatting a little bit. We'll be answering questions. Somebody wrote in a question we're going to be talking about. And um, right now I'm, I'm painting on a 6 by 8 canvas. It's a real sheet of canvas. This is a Paramount canvas. Um, you can't... Um, it comes in, it's Jerry's Artorama sells it. It's, it comes with 10 sheets and the real canvas is pre gessoed. The reason this has this light green on it, which is sort of the yellow green from Salvador, is that whenever we have any leftover paint after I do a tutorial, either, either for our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, which is gingercooklive.gallery, or for YouTube, um, John takes the leftover paint and puts it on something. Sometimes it's a large canvas, sometimes it's a small, but we don't waste anything. And it, it makes it sort of nice, because I was trying to think what kind of background I would want, and the reason I picked this is because I'm gonna go ahead and trace these kids on uh, just the way this is and fill in the dark around them, because these colors on the umbrella are so bright. I need a light background for that. And yes, we could go. Through, we could have done a back dark background, and then we could have painted the umbrella white. And it's just a lot of trouble. I think we could be pretty successful doing it this way. And what we're using to transfer the image on is something called Sorel transfer paper. If you go to our website, gingercooklive.gallery, and scoot on down to where it says Amazon, it'll take you directly our link to the Amazon store. And we, we're not selling this. Amazon sells this. But we have every, we try to put stuff in a place where you can find it easily. And then think about the Salvador uh, uh, Sorel paper in this size as opposed to buying it in the roll. Because you can buy it in a big roll like aluminum foil. Um, is not only can you use it again and again, but this has like five colors, which is, can be pretty, pretty helpful. So, um, and you, again, it's just for small things, um, it's, 
you know, just very, very handy. So we're going to be doing that. Um, uh, anything, any questions, Sean? Why I'm uh, yeah, it came up. Um, is this are the YouTube lessons considered a one cookie or a two cookie? And you might preempt that with what is a cookie? Well, we start, you know, we did a kind of a, a pun on Ginger Cook, right? And uh, so you can't believe how many people think this is a cooking channel, even though we say it's acrylic painting. I'm so screwy. But anyway, <laughs> you know, if I had had time to think about this better a few years ago when we launched the channel, it wouldn't be that. But it is. So we're all dealing with that. And in our academy, we I, I didn't like the word beginner because you maybe a beginner in acrylics, but maybe you're an awesome oil painting artist or you've been doing pastels forever. So you're not necessarily a beginner artist. You're just sort of, one cookie kind of is like introductory. It's just introductory to acrylics. You know, it may not, you know, whether you've ever painted before or maybe painted in another medium, it's just sort of, these are some basic things you need to know. One and two cookie lessons are doable lessons if you follow the step-by-step -step instructions. And as my, as I like to say, don't go off the reservation and start doing other weird things, right? If you follow this, you, you're, you'll have some great success. And we also have, um, three cookie, which are more advanced, something what we call a box of cookies. Let me just show you, for instance, the difference between what we do on YouTube is we have a lot of one cookie lessons on our academy that are just not John talking, none of this chat. So if you're one of these people that just really wants to hear the facts, how do I do this and, and has to focus, sometimes this can be a little distracting. So we have that for the academy. I'm gonna back out, I'm gonna show them the boat. Backing um, out, boss. Um, what I would call, what did we think this was, like a three cookie? Uh, we got that down as a four, I believe. Four cookie, all right. So we have two types of um, classes in our main uh, uh, Wave and Water master class for people who really want to, you don't have to be a master artist to do it, but if you really want to master water, waterfalls, lakes, that uh, oceans and that stuff, we have what's called a master class. And so here is a, a tutorial that's going to be coming up soon in our Wave and Water master class. It's 12 by 24. It's on a nice thick gallery wrap canvas. You would just hang it like that, not frame it. And um, Again, this is going to be much more complicated than what we do today, but what we do today is still the same idea. It's just that we're going to just make it simpler. And as you get your, build your skills up, you start doing more, you, you start learning other, um, other things you can do with acrylics. And it's one of those, it's one of those activities where you're constantly building skill upon skill. Uh, would you say that was a good explanation? I think you did so we, marvelous. I think that when you can trace something on like this, which makes it pretty pretty simple, um, I think we'll just put this up there like that. A um, little bit of tape there to keep it from going anywhere. Then it's just a matter of, uh, you know, kind of filling it in, right? So it's not going to be that hard, uh, I don't feel. So I would say this is probably a, uh, we don't do real beginner painting party stuff here on the channel. We really don't. We do some, be what I consider beginner lessons, but these are all fine art lessons. This isn't, um, you know, the, this isn't, these aren't, you know, when they first started painting parties and um, they got a bunch of people who had never painted before, said so bring in lots of alcohol. And, um, and I used to teach those back in Houston some year, number of years ago. And when we, they first started out, it, you'd have a room full of 30 people, you gave them three hours, and you got everybody just got three sheets to the wind, so to speak. And then what happened is, is that then they tried to paint something and then kind of wondered why, wish that it could have come out better. But, you know, most things are activities that are caught, caught require a little, Precision, you know, being sober helps. I gotta tell you, right? I get a little bit, and so I would say that for the most part, that there's there's this there's certain some people never want to go past that level. That's fine. But what we do in this channel is we show you how to take those skills, right, and how to exceed, how to go further, and do it pretty easily, and be really successful at it, and learn because it's really good for your brain too. So. One of the things you want to do when you're using transfer paper is to make sure that it's marking. Did I not get it the right side? You got it. It's right, but it's very hard to see. 
even for us it's hard to see well oh. I'm, I'm sure i push down harder let's see what's it doing there it's a little there. bit better here all right so the trick here is that we're going to push down very hard kind of go rub back and forth on these kids and um i haven't really talked about you know painting parties that much i don't really i'm not trashing it because i think a lot of people went to those and said you know what i'm pretty good at this um I would like to do more painting. I never thought I could because what's happened in uh, to a lot of people is they wanted to paint or something when they were in grade school and some teacher said something horrible to them. You know, which happens, uh, which happens a lot or their college professor said something and they were so devastated. They never picked up anything again. And, um, you know, it's a wonder my daughter paints it all. There's no Art Sherpa cinnamon. When she was in high school, she had this Looney Tune art teacher. <laughs> and um, he's lucky I didn't go down there and just ream him one. But he had what they call in California tenure, so he couldn't be fired. And he really liked abstract art and anything else, like this what he would have hated, right? So anything else was considered dumb in his mind. And um, he didn't like anything she did. And she was an extremely talented artist. But that nothing she did ever was good for him. And he, he'd leave the class, and this is true, he'd go surfing. He couldn't, they couldn't fire him. And she got so upset. I gotta tell you, she got so upset one day that she took the painting and threw stuff all over it and then threw it on the floor at him and said, there, he says, oh my God, he says, that's so brilliant. <laughs> Well, you know, you can't do, I tried to tell this to my granddaughter the other day. Um, sometimes in school and in life, you will find people in charge and um, they, you may not agree with them. Even in charge, they shouldn't be in charge. And, and they're, but they're in charge, regardless, they're in charge. You know who I'm talking about. They're in charge, right? And, um, but you're stuck with them. So try to find out what it is they know and move on and don't worry that, uh, because there's always gonna be um, people that disagree with you. And that doesn't make them bad people. It just means that they don't, they're, they're seeing the world differently. I mean, Jackson Pollock, who used to sit up on his roof and throw paint down on the driveway, <laughs> his paintings go for $50 million. Seriously, I'm not kidding. He's long since dead. And he was three, he was, he's, he's kind of an alcoholic from what I understand. And, um, and again, uh, he got very famous. And that's what, um, uh, and that was his deal. And so is that a bad thing? Are his paintings bad? Well, you know what? He actually had a pretty good sense of design. Really, honestly, there wasn't, some people saw it just as splattered paint, but if you looked at it closely, he had a, he did have a center of interest. He had complementary colors. He had movement. He had all kinds of things in those paintings that you had to look at a while before you saw it. You, not everybody can throw paint off the roof and get something, because sometimes he'd take a, like a bandsaw and he'd cut off the good part. You know, the part that would really work. He, he got some sort of sauce, you see. So, um, Sometimes, you know, art is so subjective. So when we say that, you know, when we say what we do here is a fine art, um, you know, that's, it, I, I get it, it's subjective. And uh, and I think whatever, what would my mother used to say, whatever floats your boat? Yep, we were whatever floats, floats your boat, you know? But the one thing is do something. Do something because it's really good for your brain. If you understood how good this is for your brain, um, everybody wants to take all those fancy vitamins and all that stuff, and um, which not not a bad thing. I'm not saying don't take them. I'm just saying if you knew how good it, you'd do this too, right? You absolutely would do this too. It's kind of showing up. I kind of see it. I can kind of see it. All right, I, we'll have to wing it from here, friend. <laughs> I can kind of see it though, right? So that's, that's, all right. Now we are using the Salvador paint. So let me show well, you. Speaking of Salvador paint, Bill said he got a big set of the, the, the big tubes and he loves them. Really? Bill well, how can you go his. wrong? I won't let Ginger open hers yet. Yeah, so here's the, here's a set. 
we're going to be giving away tonight or one like this. It's got the palette and the sponge and the smaller tubes and the 12 brushes. And what's neat about this is that the thin thing I like is these are professional quality acrylics and they sell for under $25 on Amazon, particularly if you use our coupon code. That's amazing. So if you're new to painting and you want to upgrade, right? How could you not love that? And then they come out recently with a larger set. If you already have the brush, you have everything. This is a larger set. And I think, how much was this when they were doing the coupon codes and stuff? It's 20, it was under 20 bucks, right? No, when it was first introduced, but I think it's at 24 now. At 24 now. Yeah. But here's the thing. Um, it doesn't take, you can buy, um, uh, you can spend, when you start buying the nice big tubes of professional acrylics, you can be up to 150 bucks before you before you blink. So the, the, we like to use these on YouTube because a lot of people that are learning to paint, um, you know, don't have affordable. the budget for it. And yeah. and this is a this is an affordable paint paint that you can do and pretty easily. Um, okay, so I'm gonna. I can see. I can. Let's see. Maybe I should take my. Oh, let's take a different color uh, pen. Pencil, maybe. What do I got? Bill said he paid 25. I think they're at 25 on the big set right now. They're at 25, yeah? Yeah. A buck tube. You know, but I mean, that's really reasonable to just sit down for hobby, and they're great for travel. They're small. Very reasonable. For, just... for a quality paint. Yeah. I mean, they're quality paint. They're not... Um, they're not a student grade paint. They're not a student grade paint. And then what happens is a lot of times when people buy student grade because they think they're saving money and what happens is is that they have to use so much more of it so they don't really you're not really saving money it's like diesel fuel you pay a little you know you get further miles to the gallon with it right something like that would that be a good analogy john i think so Hey, we'd like to thank uh, Barbara for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, gosh, Barbara, that's lovely. And, uh, you know, we're going to tell you a little bit more about uh, the Karen Little Scholarship Fund. Uh, another uh, couple people got scholarship this uh, last week. And um, this is for our academy. And it cut... We, See, what we do is we do the YouTube, and then we have the Academy, and we have over 500 um, uh, paintings in the Academy of Fine Art. We have over 500. Can you imagine? We have that many. And what's neat about it, see, where did you go? Right, right? No, you went right here. Your little arm went right there. See, like that. It just helps to kind of see where everything is, doesn't it? I know you guys, kind of for me, it does anyway. Or you're the one painting it. Kind of need to see where everything is. All right, so this is pretty. This is pretty fun. Um, and the reason I did something light was I wanted some of these bright colors. So if I take the primary yellow here, I think I can. Goldie just went to Amazon, and the prime, the Salvador set is at sixteen ninety nine right now. Oh my gosh, really? They do that every time we seem to do a show. They put it on sale. Yeah, huh? I guess so. Let's do this. Let's, let's make this a little brighter. Um, that's nice. That's great. And, uh, and that'd be the set with all the the brushes and the the whole whole enchilada. Yeah, the whole set. That's lovely. That's you know you can't you can't beat that. I'd like to thank everybody that's just joining us now. Come here, you're showing up a little bit late, and that's all right. Love to have you here. If you haven't subscribed yet, take a moment, hit that little, what is it? It's a bell. I didn't even look at it. The subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to be notified. Yeah. Cost you nothing. So now, I'm just kind of doing some of the oranges and stuff, the orange colors now. I've got this uh, sort of, this. there's some nice, um, that's well, kind of a nice orange color here on the, I liked all the colors in this. Of course, you know me, I love colors. So I loved all the colors in this. So let's see, let's do this orange right here on the umbrella. I do not have any water on the brush. Um, 
we were looking at, what were we looking at? The, um, what, there was another paint company we were looking at, uh, and they were talking about how much water they could put, and you wouldn't, sometimes if you overwater a paint, it won't adhere, and theirs doesn't do that. But I have found for these particular paints, for me, the way I paint, that they don't really, because they're so soft, they don't really require any water particularly. They just, um, they require, um, uh, let's, let's take this kind of orange right here. Okay, and he's got a little bit of an orange thing right there. That's fun, right? They don't require a lot of stuff, you know. Okay, well, well, what was the question that came out? Oh yeah, so somebody asked, well, what is the difference? You've got the you've got beginner acrylic artists, right? And that just has that's our introduction to our lessons that are the full you know, and that's one and two cookie or the you know very and and back to basic stuff that you need to know, and that's pretty reasonable. And how much is that, John? Uh, sixteen ninety five on the full fledged or four ninety five if you want just the resources for the YouTube. So if you want resources for the YouTube, you can just join that, and that's that price. Okay. So um, I'm going to do a little darker red right here, and um, uh, you know and that's that that's pretty reasonable. I think we'll do red right here too. And um, uh, and that, but then if you want um, if you want uh, to, to have uh, the more advanced lessons along with that, um, we have our regular academy which we've had for years, and that's Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. And what we like about that is that um, you can have the opportunity to send me your art in, and I can look at it and tell you how I think what you could do to maybe uh, even improve it a little bit. So let's take a little bit of this primary magenta on this one, a little lighter. I'm just kind of putting in the little, little stripe things that I can. And I think I want white and primary magenta for the these boots. Maybe a little violet, that's pretty. All right, so these boots are going to be more pink. That's her. We wear more pink. So that's our. Um, you see, and all I'm really doing is just uh, adding a few colors here and there. Okay. Uh, and, but I don't want to I'd have to dry it right this second, so I'm not going to mix the green and the reds. I sort of I can get away with doing the oranges and the yellows and stuff. Okay. So, um, all right, so if I take a little bit of white and Naples yellow red, some of that color, come back and do the, well, maybe even just Naples yellow. I don't think I need the white with it. Come back on the back of his head, a little bit on her hand. Okay. So also I'm just doing, it's really kind of blocking it in, yeah? Yes and yes? And we've got uh, something called Brilliant Blue, which is a pretty color. Oops, could that go anywhere? Uh, well, not really. <laughs> well, we could, if we mixed it with uh, Deep Green and Brilliant Blue, what would we get? Oh, we'd get that color. That's pretty, kind of a turquoise color. Now we definitely could use that, put a little of that green deep with it, right? And I'll go ahead and do his parka on that color. That's about the right color too, isn't it? So that was brilliant blue in that green deep. We did that, and I'm very I'm trying to be very careful to avoid the um Gwyn says, Can we bring back Stump the Artist? Love those questions to Ginger, and we learned something new. We did that, what, 100 years ago? Oh, yeah. You know what? We're, what happened to our quiz thing that we were doing? Remember? Oh, yeah, that little game thingy. That we started last week and said we'd have this week for you. Remember that? I remember that. We were going to do Well, we certainly week. didn't carry through with that one. Well, we'll do it next week. <laughs> we meant to do it. You know what? The week got away from us. We lost an hour, which ended up being a week. We lost an hour and the whole world. It just threw us all off. 
threw us off. Really did throw us off. It was uh, so it threw unfair. Threw me off. Threw us off. I want a little bit of the ultramarine blue now, and I'll make the pants that color. He's looking quite dapper. I don't think I got his boot up high enough, so I'll make a space for that. And I'll take a little bit of the white and put a little bit of this vapors a little lighter. But they're not the same color exactly. They're they're still there, but there's hers. Well, remember the dice game we used to play? Oh yeah, well that was fun, you know, kind of stuff. Yeah, we had those games that well, people complained. That's why we quit that. People complained. That's stupid, don't do that. We hate that. Remember that? Yeah. I kinda of remember that. It's coming back to me now. Well we stopped that. Uh, people didn't like it. Thought it was dumb. Okay, here's his shirt. His arm. See, it's the darker blue. She's got a little bit of dark blue up here around her shoulder. Coming around here. I think I'll just do it for her hood, too. Just not get too clever with that hood. Okay. All right. So, you see, this is, oh, there's some blue here. Let's do the blue on the up here like that on the umbrella this was pretty don't you think this rainbow umbrella i thought this was kind of a pretty picture if you did it larger um you could you know maybe put all the colors that the umbrella had i didn't um, do that hey we'd like to thank miss brooke for the donation that came in through youtube hi guys hope all is well miss you all tons and tons that's oh, a lot thank you. that's two tons that's two tons that's yes. two tons that's a lot that's a lot here's some of this yellow let's come up Further with this kind of as a yellow medium come up higher on the boot here well, let's give him a second coat on that boot well also we're going to do some reflections in the water here too but not quite yet and here's some as a lemon yellow for the see when you start building it up a little bit of this brighter yellow okay and um, there. So then I think I like the fact that he had curly hair. Um, but you know, um, I that's kind of hair curly. Hair. So what you would want to do? I didn't put out the burnt umber, the burnt sienna. But you put, what you do when you're painting hair is you find the darkest color first, paint that, and then you put the lighter colors on top. Okay. So that's what you want to do here. It's a little burnt sienna. Paint the darkest colors first. So if you want the, tr where the traceables will be up for this uh, tomorrow, uh, so in the afternoon, I'm gonna put a little bit of permanent violet with that burnt sienna, make that a little bit darker. Didn't know you could do that, did you? You can, let's just put that up here like this. this is one Brenda would like to share her thought on tub of towels. I got my tub of towels today and they clean everything. I love them. Oh yeah. The tub of towels, you guys, if you haven't um, haven't had the fun experience of those, they are awesome. They are absolutely awesome. And supposedly awesome. you're allowed to clean it up, clean up regular stuff from around the house. I We don't know about that, though. Yeah, yeah, you can actually use those to clean your house, too, not just get paint off of things. Hard that's to just, believe, isn't it? Yeah, there's, that's people, right. there's people that actually clean things. and clean I can't believe they things. waste their time when they can be painting. Yeah, that that makes paint. no sense. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a shading on this side here, like this. A little bit darker. Okay. So then we'll take a little bit of this. Um... Coming oh, along I nicely. I think I'm going to give this, make this girl a brunette. She's a blonde in here, but let's make her a brunette just for fun. Shall we do that? Well, oh, that sure would be fun. You could do it. Because, I mean, not, I thought that you could just make this anybody's kids because they're from behind. Just change the hairstyle a little bit, right? And let's just give her some brown hair. Like that. All right, we'll do that for her. Okay, and there's him. And then we're going to do more for him. But for now, him's good. Yes? All right, so now while this is sort of percolating and it's sort of percolating right and you know this is 
sometimes this is the kind of thing that requires sometimes two coats of paint. Here's a little carmine and white. That's a better pink, isn't it, for the boots? Look at that. That's maybe a little more, because it's probably too light. But that is a better pink, I have to say. That's more girly. Well, it is, and I, I think I'd put that on her coat, too. But some of them just kind of redesign her dress, her right coat. All right, so I've got that. Now, and then we had this really pretty green, which we have this sort of, we've got this green that's coming around here like this on the umbrella, like that. Yeah, okay. So now what? You've got, you've got, okay, Ginger, I did all that. Now now what? <laughs> okay, well, this is the fun part. Now we'll just take a, a little bigger brush. And um, so I guess I started to say the question got asked. There's a little soap green, or I think they meant to say sap green, but didn't. Um, sap soap. What's the diff? We're going to take a little bit of the darker green. Come up around here like that. Just to paint out here. A little bit of this blue color, that's pretty. A little bit of that blue and light green color in there. We want this up, all sort of melted in together. Here's some of this pretty light green color. Just we'll put that right there, melt all that in. Something pretty light next to this here. Take a little bit of white paint, lighten stuff in here next to the guy. Donna got a tub of towels for her husband and he uses them in the garage for cleaning up the oil on the floor and leather seats and all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, they're really, they're clever. And if you look at their very environmental, if you read the back of the box, they're very, very environmentally friendly. And um, I've, I've, over the years, I've used, I've, I, oh, one time, you guys, I got something called Viper Wipes, and it had a little rattlesnake on the front going, <laughs> that should have been a clue, right? And I, I remember I put the rag in the, the, the plastic wastebasket, and a couple of days later, it eaten right through it. Um, it did clean things, but it was a little hard on me personally. Sounds a little Cossack. It was, yeah, it was tough. tough. And, I've, and then I've tried other people's stuff, and then your hands are sticky. And someone says, well, I like baby wipes and whatever. I think, you know, that's a personal thing here. Let's take a little yellow here. Kind of do that like that. See how I'm just, well, this is all kind of wet. We're just implying. Well, Susan, Susan makes a good point. Sap is from a tree, and you wash your hands with soap after playing with the sap. Well, that's why it's soap green. Oh. Makes sense to me. Sure. I like that. Okay, so they've got, and then the bushes are all coming down here on this side. We're going to do this. Bring all this down, kind of, kind of sneak in close to the kids here. Let's take a little bit of the dark color, some little shadows shading in here, because we're not really talking about the background that much, right? It's a blurry background. But we're just, it's all kind of out of focus, and we know that we've got, and the water starts right about here. Because these guys are in it. I wish I still had it. I had a great picture of my daughter, Cinnamon, when she was about two with an umbrella jumping in puddles. It was adorable. I don't know what happened to that, you know. Hey, we'd like to thank Sharon for the donation that came in through PayPal. Oh gosh, thank you very much, Sharon. We appreciate that very much, you guys. Thank you very much. And you know what we really appreciate too, and so many of you have been sharing our channel with your friends, telling other people about it. And uh, we appreciate that very much too. I think I have to come down here and um, Bring this yellow down. I didn't get that down far enough, too. It has to come right about here. And then this comes down a little further. Okay, I got it. And then I'm going to pull some yellow in here like that while I'm here. Okay, I'm going to pull that in there. And then we'll take some of this pink and do that, too, while we're here. With this pink color from her boots. 
we're gonna try to wiggle a little line down here like that okay now apparently up here we've got the road okay we've got the road this is where the this is where they should be they got off the road here And make that a little bit lighter. So all I've done pretty much here is um is block all this in. See what I mean? We just kind of blocked in everything, which is something you've got to do, right? You've got to block in stuff so that you have a sense of where everything goes. Because acrylics is about layers. A little blue with that burrowed there. A little bit of that ultra. That, what is that? The, the turquoise blue. Put a little of that on the road. It's kind of pretty. Okay. Acrylics Kr is all about layers. And um, you want to make sure that you, you know, that you're. Um, uh, you're getting enough paint where you can layer because otherwise you just you know we don't have anything yet we just we just have um we got blocks of color we just have blocks of color but he kind of have to start off that way with blocks of color and would this be bigger easier bigger sure let's take this a little bit darker let's take that soap green pull some dark green down in here and we'll do that so anyway, I may keep meaning to ask the question. So the question got asked, uh, was written in, and said I'd like to ask it on the show. Do you remember who wrote it in? Because we said we'd say your name. I didn't say we would say your name. I thought I did. Well, anyway, <laughs> you, we didn't. So you, the, you who wrote it in said, I don't know. I want to join the Academy. What should I join? It was Donna. Huh? Donna. All right. So Donna, here's the answer to your question. Um, if you want... To just see how you like our... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hmm? You better say what the question is instead of just giving an answer. Well, that's so good. Why don't you answer? Tell me what the question was, John. Tell me, what was the question? All right. The question is, I want to join your art classes, but I'm not sure if I should join the beginner classes. I am a very beginner, but I'm afraid that while I'm in that class... The advanced class with the personal art coaching will get full and I won't be able to get in. So should I join at the beginner or advanced class? If your budget allows, join the Senior Academy and here's why. We have all the beginner lessons that are in the beginner acrylic artists in the senior. They're, they're, they're all there. In fact, even more. We have even more lessons. We, st we did that, that, that beginner acrylic academy because some people, uh, you know, their budget only allowed for uh, that much money a month and even though we give seniors uh, over 65 at tremendous discounts under $30 a month for senior academy which comes with personal art coaching um, you know for some people and particularly in, in, in the times we're living in that's just a lot so we, we, we made an adjustment however if your budget allows we always tell you to join the senior academy because you get personal art coaching with every video that you you can send something in once a week to get help with it um when you and um uh, as, as a classic example of this whoops oh well oh, how that happened all right it's a classic example of this i had a gal um, send me in something that she was working on. I think we said it back four or five times because she still wanted to see what else can I do. Sometimes it's just one time I make a suggestion and sometimes people don't want to know, but they know that I'm there. Not everybody sends stuff in, but they know if they need help, they've got it. And I think that's, you know, and that's really not, and that's, um, but again, and it's also for not just these lessons, you know, it's for the YouTube lessons as well as the ones in the academy. And we add new lessons in the academy every uh, well, several times a month. We used to do it every week, but then some of them got so long people couldn't keep up. But we we do add, we add them all the time. Basically, what we're doing is 52 lessons, minimum of 52 lessons in the academy uh, for the VLL members and 12 for the Wave and Water. Yeah, we do That's that. That's minimum. And more than likely, we end up doing more. Yeah. Yes. 
exactly so right so um uh so we we say if you can join the senior academy and here and because um here's the thing even though you may not be ready to paint in a more advanced lesson watching the videos there's tips in them if you never painted them we always tell people even if you don't paint them watch the videos You'll pick up something. You're, you're going to learn something because I and I and I constantly am, you know, trying to, um, you know, uh, emphasize um, certain things that you need to remember. For instance, well, the word this month was random. Um, there's a tendency for people to want to um, repeat the same shapes over and over again. So if they get a little bush they like, they just start Xeroxing that same bush <laughs> over and over and over again. And then everything's great except the bushes all look the same or the clouds are all the same. And so I always try to tell people, well, tr go for random, right? Um, go for random, please. I'm putting a little white there to see to kind of get that edge there a little bit. And um, like that, so we want we want to give the sense of the puddle, right? So I'm gonna just do a little bit of this zigzagging in here, not not as much as I would normally do, but we'll we'll do some more of this of their reflections too. But that's the I want to kind of define the um the pond here while we're doing that. So we'd say to do that when you can. And the reason we said, the other thing I think we said was that um, at some point, at one time, a couple years ago, um, we had a lot of, you know, we, we, we always guarantee, if you keep your Academy membership and you never drop it, you're always guaranteed a spot for personal art coaching. You haven't dropped it, you just get that. And um, also we, we lock in your price. So we have people that joined us in 2016 15. that are they're paying um, hardly anything for, for the lessons, and they've just stayed with us. I mean, it's too good, you know. And when we first started out, we didn't have that very many lessons. But now, boy, we've got a lot of lessons. And... Um, you know, which is, um, which is kind of neat, I think. We've got a lot of lessons. So, I don't know. Did that explain it, John, a little bit? Do you think I I think it? so. I think really the bottom line is if you can't afford it and you really want to learn to paint, even if you're a very, very beginner, you Thanks. should take advantage of the personal art coaching because Ginger will take you from the, the sphere and the apple and the little log to make sure you're blending and doing everything right and mixing colors and doing all this good stuff. So, to me... It's really a no-brainer if you got the bucks. You know, you're going to spend sixteen ninety-five on the beginner side, or you're going to spend thirty-five to get personal art coaching from a professional artist. So yeah. you can you know either hope for the best or learn from the best. Your choice. I like that, John. Hope for the best or learn from the best. That's clever, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it is clever. You know, I just came up with that. Hope for the best or learn from the best. I like talking to the stuffy staff. They're, they're always full of information. Yeah, the, the senior discount is also for the military veterans and all those good folks that keep us safe. Which we have always done. Yep. We've always done that. You know, done the senior discount for that. So you see how we're starting to build up the colors it's, on yeah. this? And it's just, here's the next layer of yellow on the, azo yellow on the boot here. Yeah, well yellow, you need several several coats to get yellows to cover. I mean, I didn't paint those white first. I took a gamble and put, painted them over uh, green. Yeah, it'll take a, it'll take so a few I'm taking coats. a little bit more with that. But um, let's see, where's this part? This is priorly red is a beautiful orange, isn't it? That's just a great orange color. It's a very and, bright uh, orange. It is a really good orange color. And uh, I like that color a lot. Come on, people, a few more thumbs up, and we give that uh, 
code. They gave the code out. Hey, I only got, oh, I just hit 300. So what's the secret word for today? I know what it is. Should be coming up any second. The seniors pay, the, the regular price for the, uh, is thirty four ninety five. Seniors get it for twenty eight ninety five. Wow, that's a deal. I mean, we know it, Joe. It's just, but we did that because we, I, I, you know, John and I talked about this. We did this because in the United States, that's, you know, for any kind of lessons to learn how to do anything, that's really inexpensive, and we know that. It is. It's just very inexpensive. But in some countries... Um, where the or the exchange rate isn't so good, it's it's um it's not you know that's a that's a lot um, more pricey, and uh, we wanted to when we became an international art community, uh, you know I wanted to teach the world not just you know people in the United States when we did that, um, we decided that we had to we priced it where we thought. People could have, you know, other people could afford it, right? Here, let's put a little of this light. What color was that? That's that primary cyan, kind of that bright blue. See, we're just kind of, we're just going, wow, look at all the colors. See, we're just layering. You just can't say that enough about it. You've got to get the layers in. Got to get a few shadows in here on the fabric. Make this a little darker. You know, so keep keep adding to the kids. And then this was neat. They had this, and this is really important. When you do this, this has got to be like the top of uh, a circle. When you do the top of this boot, because you got to get the, you've got to curve that around like that, okay? Um, and he's got a little bit of a brown coming out here like this off to the side it's sort of splashing okay and she's got oh this Naples yellow red that's a pretty she's got very white legs very very light oh it's just getting to be spring now have been out in the sun nobody's much. been out in the sun here so let's lighten this up And his, her blue parka comes all the way up here like this. Okay? So we're getting there. Now, I like this primary cyan. That's a fun color, isn't it? I like all the blues in this set. And can you mix most of these? Of course you can, but it's nice to have them here. Come on, isn't it? It's a lot quicker. And really, it's a cost saving because you're not using a bunch of different paints. So it's pre mixed, ready to go. And they're great colors. And let's see, I thought we'd like this, this, this green and this brilliant blue made this kind of neat, kind of uh, this deep green and brilliant blue, I think is what we wanted. And then we want to bring this. Again, just more colors out here. We just keep, I keep layering these guys up and we'll see how we do. Um, let's see, his, uh, there's his elbow coming up like this, where he's right up here to the umbrella. So arms coming down like that. He's holding his little umbrella. Now, let's see, I want a little bit of this color right here. I have a little bit of a shadow on her leg here, but I'll just, I can still have it. Okay, like that. And then we want some dark green right here. We'll start closing in on the greens here. So any questions, John? Uh, nothing that's ringing a bell. 
Well, I didn't ask if anybody was ringing a bell. I just asked if anybody had any questions. This was a crazy week, wasn't it? I don't know why. We, John and I are not, I know Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time. They just said, no, we're not doing that. Um, we need to move then. You know, they, I think it's stupid to mess with the clocks. I wish they didn't have it, you know what I mean? Because it would be really nice. I don't see the purpose of it anymore. And um, that's something kind of, kind of something growing up here like this. No, just bring it down here a little bit more. Now, um, this was cute. His Parker kind of did this. So let's do some let's do some bright green. That might be pretty on the parka. Bright green's a neat color, isn't it? Where could we put that? Oh, I like you know, that. it's Ben Franklin that came up with changing this clock thing. Was it? Yep. But the whole world caved, didn't they? Everybody, yeah, I everybody, don't get it. I don't understand Europe the reason. Too, right? I mean, everybody caved to decide, oh, it's a great idea. We should all do that. Yes and yes, right? Leave the clock alone. Uh, but, you know, I mean, it was a far, it was a thing that had to do with farmers and things. And um, Okay, those days are over. Times have some, changed. Some blue here. Quit messing with the clocks. I'm going to get on my high horse. Get on my soapbox. Yeah, well, I mean, I get it, John, because you're just, you know, a little bit of blue here. I wanted all these beautiful bright colors in this. I haven't fixed the, haven't done the kids' heads yet, but, you know, I wanted to make sure we had all this. Then we'll play with the heads. And let's we'll see, here's the, here's this line that's coming down here with the hood. And the uh... all right, so we're so we're getting there. Uh, the reason Ben did it was for saving on the oil lamps and candles. Okay, when was the last time you lit a candle? Even on our last power outage, I did not use a candle. I had my little battery generator. I don't need to talk changing. It's just wrong. Just wrong, I tell you. Head should roll. Well, I can see you feel that way. So far, we've been doing pretty good, but, you know, we'd do better if we just took a moment and dried this. We don't need a big, long time to dry, John, but it wouldn't hurt to dry a little bit, right? Well, and we can do the uh, four-minute scholarship thing. We want time. Well, we can do that. We'll not really dry this thoroughly, you know, as you can see, we're getting there, but we don't quite have it yet. Okay. All right. We'll be back after this brief moment. Hi, you guys. So while Ginger is drying the painting, that would be me, but future me, not now me. <laughs> the now me is going to thank everybody who's been uh, supporting us and our channel for the last, uh, well, forever. If you've been doing that, we thank you. If it's last year, the year before, the year before, we've been on YouTube for a while. We appreciate you very much. And whether you've been donating a little bit every month to on the YouTube side or you've gone to our website, gingercooklive.gallery, and uh, scroll down to the Karen Little Scholarship Fund and contributed there, um, we thank you very much. And uh a lot of your contributions have gone towards scholarshiping people in our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. And particularly during this pandemic, we have found that um, cabin fever doesn't begin to describe how a lot of people are feeling, and painting is what keeps them going. And this personal art coaching that I do in the Academy, sometimes where you're reaching out to another person and I comment on their artwork and that kind of thing, and back and forth with through video, private videos I make for people, 
it's kind of a lifesaver. And sadly, even though $35 a month will, you know, is, is, doesn't sound like that much, but for many people who are finding themselves, oh, their income changed dramatically. It's just not in the budget. So for those of you who've been helping out, we thank you very much. We wanted to do something in, uh, kind of to reward that. So for the next, kind of quarterly, and for the next few months, it's, uh, Anyone who donates at least $100 will be put into a special drawing to win one of my original paintings, an 8x10. We'll give you a choice of three after um, uh, the, the drawing session is over. Ginger will show you what those three current paintings are that will be in the upcoming um, uh, cycle of uh, for the scholarship fund. Uh, and... So we want to thank you for that. And then John, why don't you know that if you have someone in mind that you think would benefit from a scholarship, whether it's in the Beginner Curl Academy, whether it's a senior membership, maybe you know someone that's been dying to have a Wave and Water membership and they just couldn't afford it. It's just um, somebody that needs to keep going. You have someone in mind, tell us. We have people in mind also that have said they would love to stay, but they can't because of finances. And maybe that you could help somebody like that. But whatever... Whatever it is, if you do hundred dollars, we're gonna we'll match it with a hundred dollars, and that might scholarship two or three people for a few more months, or might case, just so many different ways that that can help um, our academy members or future or would be want to be academy members that want to come and really take advantage of the classes that we offer. So before I leave, I wanted to explain a little bit about Karen. Karen was John's first wife. Um, they were married over 40 years. She died very unexpectedly. Within two weeks of being sick, she was in the hospital and gone. And some of you know what that's like right now because of the pandemic. We've lost a lot of people over the past year that were very unexpectedly. And Karen was the kind of gal that her whole life, she was just generous and kind to others. She she was very creative. She used to like to knit and crochet, and and uh, they would she would make a scarf or mittens or some booties or something, and she would give them away to total strangers who would. And she did this everywhere. She was just a very very gregarious and kind and loving person. And when we thought we would have a scholarship fund, we named it after Karen. Wanted to honor her memory, and anyway, we want to again thank you guys for helping support our channel. If you want to help support a little further someone that you think would benefit from our academy, uh, you can, if you do it, go to our website, you can uh, just leave the information as a place where you can write what you'd like the funds to go for, whether it's to have a bottle of wine on us, Ginger, I'd like to scholarship somebody. doesn't really matter what it is, but we thank you very much. And John and I hope you're enjoying the rest of this tutorial. We try to make it fun. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you guys in a sec. And we're back. All right. So what wondering... are you doing? Well, this is what's called, this is a clear piece of um, acetate. Acetate. And what I've done is I've, I traced the, um, the, the picture on here. Now I'm going to put it over here and see how close I am to my drawing. So, where I have to be with her. Do you see what I'm saying? And with him. So if I if I kind of line this up to exactly how I kind of traced it on, right? Looks pretty good. So I'm pretty I'm pretty close. Let me just got paint on this hand, and so um, being a tub of towels. All right. So let's. So as I I'm looking at that, seeing it's so it, whenever you do anything like this, if you lo lose your um, if you lose your image, you know, and it's easy to do, right? Just line this up just about like, like this, right? You can go back. See, I'm good here. I'm good here. Do a little more on her hair. Come in here. Give him his curly hair. And come a little tighter in on the umbrella. See what I mean? And uh, shorten his foot right here. That's... Is too high. Yeah, he's dragging his foot through and making a puddle. Yeah, so he's, yeah, so I'm going to shorten that. But you can. This is how you can you can check your work, and you can actually print these on the. You can actually put the image in the computer and print on these, and really have macro. You can just use a pen and outline it. So you can. But once you're doing something, you can double check your work. Isn't that see that 
that was worth watching the whole show for, wasn't it? And, and, and Kim Carr was one of the first artists I knew that she started doing that. And I said, yeah, it never would have occurred to me in a million years to do it. It is such a good idea, such a good way to double check what your, your, your reference to see how you did was, you know, just a brilliant idea. Okay, so I'm going to start with a little bit of the white paint, maybe a little bit of the hazel lemon yellow, just maybe a little Naples yellow, probably. And um, I want to wipe most of the paint off my brush, and I'm going to come out here like this. Well, that isn't going to work. Let's do a little bit of the, let's try this. I'm going to come up this far with his hair because it comes out about like that. Okay. And, uh, and let's see, I said his um, boot had to be up higher, right? Yeah, that's what you said, and we listened just, to you. This had to come up higher. I, I, was, I was a little off right there. That's all right. That's what that's what that's why you dry. Now when you get the clear acetate, you make sure if you want to print on it, make sure you get one that says it's for printers. Not all clear acetate will pay except ink. Because one side has a little bit of a texture to it, so the ink will bond. Yeah. And yeah. they have to go in the right way. So pay attention when you open it and all that stuff. That your printer will print on print on the correct side. Otherwise it just smears. It makes a mess. Yeah, you don't want to have that, right? I think you'd rather not. We want a little bit of a shadow back here on the back of his neck. We'll pull that right there. Okay. And I want to do a little bit softer here on her hand. And um, I think I said I wanted to make um, her a br brunette. I'm going to put a little bit of this a little bit of this orange color in his hair, too. Well, okay, I'm not quite sure where you're going with this one. Uh, it's all right. I don't care. <laughs> Hang in there with us. I will. You know, you got to get the darker colors in before you can put the light on top, right? I'm, I'm with you. Okay. I know in the early days when I was following, I, I could not understand it until it was done, and you go, wow. So you, I want something dark here next to his neck. Get this a little bit tighter up here to the top of his head. You know, bring in the, um, bring in that. Let's see, I think I'll put a little bit of a, Red sienna light color here. Oh, so maybe we'll just do dark. Let's say here's the dark hair. We're just going to bring her hair down. Well, there is yeah. one person out there that understood what I said when it came to the Rasturbator program and it lets you enlarge an image. Tara says, I finally got it. Your Tech Bear video was just what I needed. Yeah, somebody else, I, I read that. Somebody that felt that you'd actually... I thought it made it really simple. Was... The last one I did, I thought, was really simple. I use it all the time. Just punch it in and just, it's just a no-brainer. Yeah, I mean, I get that. And just, it's um, it's a good program. And, um, but you sometimes you just have to, you know, sometimes directions, not everybody sees directions the same way. Nope, that is so true. And, um, all right, so we need to kind of crop in on the umbrella a little bit. We're going to fix the road, too. But it's, it's taken a little bit, but it's coming there, you guys. It's coming. So we're going to take a little bit of the white and the brown and... We can actually our roads up here too. And we need some more white. They have to have somewhere to go, right? Just a little something. Just a little somewhere where they can be actually uh, leave here the the bank of stuff and we'll see there's a little bit of this in in there. And, um, oh, we'd like to thank Adam. I think Adam made a donation earlier through Super Chat, and I apologize for having missed that, but I believe 
it was him. I don't know if I can go back and find that or not. Uh, we had a couple things come through super. You guys are doing things. I'm not catching them. Oh, I want to give a shout out to um, to uh, Linda, who um, in uh, Connecticut. In Connecticut, who's who's Linda in Connecticut? Isn't she? Pennsylvania, sorry. Oh, you're talking about Linda Sue. Linda Sue, I want to say hi, Linda Sue. She's been watching us every week, and um, she's the uh, uh, John's um, and cinnamon, and you know John's mother, uh, John Cooney's mom, and uh, you know she, so I want to give a shout out to her, say hi, and uh, so that. Haven't seen the family since everybody kind of moved away. Okay, so, but uh, I well, keep forgetting, but I meant to, but I'm saying it today, right? Hi, hi. Well, that's what Skype is for. I guess I can't see past donations. I apologize for that. I thought I could somewhere. Yes. YouTube. Really I was going to make her a brunette, but I think I'm, I think we're going blonde here because I've got all this dark next to her head. Let's just take a little bit of this rust color. I believe I missed Eric's donation from last week, too. So, Eric, I don't know if you're out there today, but thank you for your donation in the past. Adam wants to know more about the uh, Rasturbator program. It's a program that you can take your image and you can scale it up to whatever size you want. And there's a, if you go to the Tech Bear on YouTube, I have a video on how to use it. Really simple to use and it's, I mean, we use it all the time. We do the big 20 by 24s and 18, anything that's over, really anything that's over eight and a half by 11. I'll put it on that, and we make that available for our, our members, one that's already pre-sized for that particular size. All right, now we're starting to get, do you see how we're, it's just taking a while, you guys. We're starting to layer the colors on. You see now that everybody's well, it makes starting sense to now. I'm, I was in panic mode for a second. I know, but it just, um, I know it's hard because once you start putting in all the colors, um, you know, then it's, you know, and you layer them and you layer them and then you layer them and then it starts to make sense, right? Like this orange is going to be brighter now than it was the first time I did it. And um, I haven't used the vermilion. I just put all the colors out because I never quite know what I'm going to want here. But here's the... Typically you want them all. There you go. There's that bright stripe coming down the back of the boots. And um, I think this could be brighter. This um, the band here definitely could be brighter. Let's do a little vermilion up here. And uh, let's do something brighter right here. Some red, you know. I think you just go over these things and just, just doesn't show up, you just do it again which is fun. Again, another, another, um, another coat of paint on the, on the, on the boots. And now they're starting to feel like um wet boots. Then we got something here. Starting to put some of the highlights on the clothes. Right? So because there's a shadow in here, you know, you've got to you've got to have that. So like for instance like right in here, you've got to have the folds and the fabric. Maybe you can do a little permanent violet for the shadow. Right like that. But you gotta have that and you gotta have little shadows on her and um, we've got that going right there but I feel like it's sort of um, 
I feel like somehow we're um, uh, closer. What do you think, you guys? So take it, you know, a little bit closer. Just a little bit lighter here. You know, sun's getting your hair. And um, a few little tiny little highlights there on the kids. And uh, so let's see, we want some nice colors where the umbrella might be uh, in the water too. Well, that's fun, right? We're doing all the fun stuff, yeah? Oh, how fun is that, yeah? Yeah, you know me, I'm all about color. And lots of it. And uh, absolutely, I'm all about color. Let's do white and... Um, in this, uh, what is this yellow? Uh, priorly red, that, that really bright orange color. Let's That's a see. great color. This is so nice and bright. Hey, we'd like to thank Anne Marie for the donation that came in through Super Chat. Oh, thank you, Anne Marie. It's always lovely hearing from you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that very much. Okay, so then we've got. Um, uh, I think we should have some little flowers here. What do you guys think? Yeah, because Ginger always has flowers somewhere, right? Somebody, there should be some flowers growing here, yeah? On the side. And we'll do this with that too. We'll just indicate there's some pretty bright yellow flowers this is fun now i'm having this is really fun now this is totally not that it what you guys weren't all fun before but i have to tell you this gets really fun because like you wouldn't see it but like one side of these boots is actually darker than another side this so the inside of this boot is actually slightly darker and then this one is really bright yellow down here and then we're doing that right like that and then i'll put the little just suggest the brown splash of the the shoe and we'll do a little splash there and then it gets the then what you got to do is you got to have a uh, kind of a you got to break up all the, the reflections okay so then what you do is you, you get a thin brush and you break these up like that with some dark green ones going across like that. Yep. And then you might want, just saying, you might want a little bit of white around here where this is splashing. And then let's take a little light blue, not quite white. And do a little bit of... Let's, let's go right through here and uh, break those up. Hey, and if any of my grandchildren are watching, sometimes they watch too, and they never tell me they're going to be watching. You text me and say, I'll be watching. I'd give you all a shout out. So if Luna or Spider or Honey's watching, a big shout out to them too. Um, which is kind of neat. And let's see, oh yeah, let's do some of this bright blue. That's so pretty. Get that bright blue, ooh, right across there with a little white. I love having all these colors. And then I want something a little lighter on their pants. Um, on this side. And right here on the arm. Get up there on his elbow. Then I think we said we wanted something brighter. This is that turquoise blue is a very pretty color. And it might be nice to put it up here like that. On the umbrella. Kind of a... Put a little of that in the water. Really coming alive. 
what is it, it just I think what happens is is that you know when you're painting something like this you just it doesn't look like anything for so long you're thinking well it must be me I can't do it just hang in there with it right you got to get through the ugly stage yeah there's an ugly there is there's this ugly stage and you have got to get through it you absolutely got to get through it kind of flatten out your brush don't get a big glob of paint on there just have just the right amount let's do the, the let's see maybe we're going to do red here let's get that her and then uh that was her sleeve and uh, i just wanted something a little bit redder here we go a little bit redder right here on the inside of her boot right like that maybe that's a little darker and let's see what else I'm a little red right there too okay so now getting pretty close to be finished um you know the trick is you know wherever there's a light there's a dark so um you know if you want them to show up and you know maybe you want this a little darker right there just that little bit so you can go back and you can add a little woodland here and there but um Put a little of that dark going down into there and I think I want to even though it's not in the photograph I think I want to suggest that there's um uh, just one second here I want to suggest that there might be a um that this you know even though it didn't suggest it I want to suggest that the road's kind of going off somewhere where they could go and I think I'll put make this green right here even though it's road in the picture I think I'll come down here and make this green you can do that and so you but I want you I want to be able to say that the road is kind of drifting off this way maybe it's a path less of a road more of a path what do you think so you could you could possibly walk out of that and uh, maybe not like that see but that's all right you know if, if you don't like it this is okay you can just um what painting over does right all right there's our road okay so now what um oh yeah some of these colors in here and some bright green colors in here i think we had that in the picture right in here like that and I wish this were dark. Let's just try this dark green right here. I want to put a couple of folds in his shirt there, a little more pronounced. Okay, that's better. See, you just keep layering. Hey, Candy, we'd like to thank you for the donation that came in with the super chat with the little Kung Fu guy. Oh, there's a kung fu guy. I like yeah, that. He, you get to see he's the bowing down to us. Thank you. Thank you. This is fun. I hope you know this is the kind of thing where you can just take your time. Don't get big globs of paint on your brush. That's one of the things you always want to put the paint on your brush and wipe most of it off. That's important to know. Just uh, put a little on and then wipe it off. And uh, now, if you'll notice that there's on the umbrella, there's this. Um, if we can do it because it's like two-tone it's kind of like there's a a line right here that's doing this and there's one that's doing this oh the ribs. one that's going that way that would be the ribs yeah the ribs of the umbrella and um they're sort of darker here whoops here and then there's one going this way so the trick is you want it lighter on the other side of them so for instance this side is lighter and this side is lighter and you really don't when it comes to the blue part you really don't 
you don't see them when they change colors a little bit. So let's do this. Okay, so we've got the little ribs on the umbrella and um they would have to be kind of yellow when it came down to this area here. So they're kind of they kind of disappear in this area. You kind of see them, but you kind of don't. And then here's the little uh tabby thing here that sticks out on top of the umbrella, which would be better painted white and then dried and then painted yellow. Here's that. And um, they've got a little few little dots here where the ribs go on the umbrella, not to put too fine a point on it. Uh, let's see, and what do we got here? We got a little bit of a light yellow on the collar here. And let's see, there's some, some pink here. This is where, you know what I want to get out is the, the Holbein bright pink, right? You're resisting them, aren't you? I'm resisting, but you know these boots could be really bright pink, yes? <laughs> yeah. And, um... Oh, I think it looks, I think it's looking pretty orange, good. Put a little orange in here, too, right? And this cuff got a little big. So we'll just put some green right there. Tone that one down. And... I, I think we're getting kind of close. Um, if you like this kind of thing, let me just show something real quick. If you like things with reflections, right? If you like that. One of the latest Academy videos we did. Can you back out a second? Um, yep, got it. Is this one with the fox. It's oh, fox. yeah. And again, it's another one on how to do reflections. And if you're a senior Academy member, even if you don't pay it, you can certainly watch it and learn a lot. So it's just, you know, if you just watch the videos, they're just, they're pretty... They're pretty inclusive, and they really are step-by-step. Step. There's no John chatting. It's just, it's just you and me talking about how to do stuff. Yeah, no John chatting. Don't and, want that. And uh, we meant to get this earlier in the week, but that got away from us. But the newest lesson that's coming out for the Academy is uh, Robin's Wood. Robin's... What no, is it? No, it's not Robin's Wood. That's not right. well, what's it saying? Look at your list. Well, I don't know. What does it say? Does it say Robin's Wood? That's what it is. Backyard bench. Robin's Wood backyard bench. Oh. That's the name. Okay. okay. So um, we have that. So that's an academy. And again, this is a how many? This was a, probably a four-hour tutorial, wasn't it, John? Yeah, it's a long one. It's a long one, but you know, you you learn a lot about layering and how to lay stuff out and all that stuff. So those are fun, fun paintings to do. Being an academy member certainly is terrific and then I want to say before I finish this that um, uh, the for those uh, you know you saw that um, uh, in our clip we sh showed you about the hundred you know the uh, quarterly we were going to do a um, uh, a drawing for people who had uh, contributed to our scholarship fund, hundred dollars or more every quarter. We're going to do that. You'll have a choice of either this painting with the bridge. Incidentally, that's a huge yeah. This, this particular quarter, this is what we're offering. Yeah, okay, good, thank yeah. You. Or you could pick the pansies, or you could pick the um, this academy tutorial with the crackle that we use the crackle paste to get the crackle and the cups and everything. So that's these are eight by ten, and so that, those there'll be a drawing for that, and uh, we keep in track of everybody. And again, we want to thank uh, uh, everybody who contributed. I think uh, thank Judy uh, Guitar. She contributed earlier in the week. So we thank you very much for that. And uh, let's see where else. What I was going to go with this. A couple more things. Um, Put a little bit lighter on the edge of the, uh, just put a little, see how you can put some paint on here and just kind of wipe it off and 
then I just want a little bit of a lighter edge, a little bit of a light beige edge here. On here like this, a little bit light, a little lighter than that. Now, Liz is a sweetheart. I have a hard time watching the Academy lessons without John. Oh. She's my new best friend. Oh. And we'll put a little bit of this brown in the water too. And then we'll take a tiny little brush, which we have numbers of little brushes. Let's do this and put a few little kind of white, kind of light blue, not quite white, not quite blue, yep. And let's do a few little sparkle, little dot sparkles on the water. If you hadn't had a chance to enter for the drawing. Oh yeah, you should be doing that for sure, right? Now would be the chance to do it. Yeah, so let's make sure we've got everybody um, uh, splashed. I mean, this is sort of happy, isn't it? it just um, this came out to be sort of a happy little painting, huh? Okay. I love that. That's a, that orange color is so pretty. And, um, you know, of course you can always do a little bit more detail if you want, but uh, I think we're pretty good there. Let's see, where did I put my over here? Let's, um, Let's do this and see what Oh, we got. didn't tell me we are going to back out. Back it out, baby. <laughs> back it out. I'm always the last one to get the memos. Back it out, man. Back it out. I'm not saying I'm done. I just want to see it in the frame because I think it's kind of cute, right? Well, let's keep moving around while I'm trying to line up on it. Yeah. Okay. So I see a couple of things I want to do now. I've seen it in the frame. I, just a couple well, of One thing that I see, I don't, I don't want to be yelled at, but... You were going to expand that grass between the umbrella and the boy. Was that done? Here. That little green patch there? Right there, yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I had the top of her head right. Those boots just in the picture, I'm sorry, in the photo, those boots are so bright. <laughs> and, and just outstandingly bright. What, the pink ones? Yeah. You're gonna do it, aren't you? I am, I like them. I knew I it. Liked, I like them. You came so close. I like them, they were so bright. Well, I was gonna do it. I don't remember where I put the colors. Yeah, here. Well, I lied. Here it is. I just, I'm in the picture. They are so bright. It's so bright. Yeah, that's only where you're going to get it. That is Luminous Rose by Holbein. You can't get that color any other way. Nope. And I just, I felt like they... It just needed it. And She's then, a girl and she wants her pink boots. And I want to just kind of pop the reds up again, too, with this. Um, pop the reds up. I just want a little bit of a... It's just a little... It's kind of some brighter colors in the... In the um, this is not through neon. It's just no, luminous. this is just called luminous rose. It's not Luminous neon. rose. Yeah, just luminous rose. I'll just put a little out so you can see it. It's just, nobody makes that. Nobody else makes that. It's just a kind of a neat color. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you just want that color because, you know, I know I love it. I love it in flowers. Let's 
So you put a little white with that and you've got a bright pink boot. I just liked it because they were bright and pretty, but then, you know, I've got to, you know, then I can put a little red on them and they'll still be bright. I don't have to have them quite that bright. I'll put a little red over them. Oh, no, no, keep them bright. She's got to show off her pink booties. And, I mean, they're nice. I mean, there's just certain colors that you can do that are just, you know, you can add a little bit of that to the orange and then you get these, these certain colors. Like, for instance, this is a bright color right here. This was a bright red right here. And I just wanted it brighter, you know? So, um... That is a fine-looking painting there. So, but I, I would say that we, um... I think we accomplished our uh, goal as far as, uh, you know, learning to paint this. I hope you feel like we did. And, uh... And, uh... There we go. You got that black frame right to your left. Let's try that one. Okay, that would be your right. Oh yeah, the other left. <laughs> I don't see it with the black. Really accentuate the colors. Look what it does to those colors, huh? Yeah, it's pretty in a black frame too. So yeah. it's just a, kind of nice in a black frame. Yeah, but you know, um, uh, let's see, what did I, what, what happened here? Hang on a second. I'm seeing this now. You guys, you got to forgive me, but I'm seeing this here now. I want to bring this um, umbrella down a bit, and I didn't have it there, and then bring the red down here. Needed that straight line right there, and I kind of lost that. Yeah, but you're right about that. These these bright these bright colors. I just, they're just fun, yeah? Let's see. Vermilion, that's a good color. That's a, Goldie's got some beautiful reds. Try Vermilion here. I feel like Goldilocks with the, one of the brighter colors. All right, I think that's it for me, you guys. I'll put this gold frame away. I just thought it was fun to see what I, it's always fun to see what these things look like if you, you know, kind of frame them and what they'd be. Throw them into a little quick little frame. Can, can be really nice. Hope that one fell down. So I'm going to just take a Posca pen and sign this. I think that we're we're about ready for a drawing here, yep, John. Yeah, we're getting ready for a drawing. going to bring up random.org, our favorite random number generator. Yeah, so random.org, if somebody uh, wins this and enjoys the kids and, um, and how many entrees do we have this evening, you might ask? Quite a few. It looks like 285. Alrighty, we got our number for the winner of the painting. Scroll, 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 scroll. Is uh, sign it right. I think I'll sign it right here. It's gonna go to Oregon. 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 Oh my gosh, it's going to Oregon. I haven't been to Oregon. We need to go to Oregon. Yeah, Everyone we says need Oregon's to go, beautiful. We need to go places. We're all feeling a little cooped up. Somebody, only somebody been a asked of years. us the other day about about the vaccine. You got the vaccine yet? Uh, we have an appointment. John and I have an appointment. <laughs> we, we got that far. We got that far. We have an appointment. Woohoo! That was hard to get. We have an appointment. So we have an appointment. Um, so if you're in Oregon, you have a possibility of being the person that won this. Uh, so somebody in Oregon won this, huh? Yep. All right. Well, listen, you guys, if this was fun, I, you know, we'll maybe oh, yeah. do a Tuscan door or something with some flowers. I think that's those are great ideas to do. Um, we always love your ideas and um, and uh, uh, that kind of stuff. We we're hoping for a nice spring here with the uh, in, in uh, Houston. Hope that we'll get a better spring and the weather will be good. And um, 
Uh, maybe John and I will get some boots on and go splashing in some puddles. Who knows, right? I'd love to this do that. This is inspiring, isn't it? Don't you just want to go out and wade in the puddles? Well, Jackie Patrick from Oregon, come on down. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations, Jackie. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Now we Wonderful. need a winner, winner, winner chicken dinner for the Salvador paint kit this evening. Yeah, so who won the fabulous Salvador paint kit with the brushes and all of that? Who won all of this stuff? What a great deal, you guys. That's really Already nice. Already pre-opened and pre-used. Yeah, just all, all, all in your own box coming directly to you. Um, put my red slash through my name. That's right here. I'm going to put my... There. Awesome. That's going to go all the way to Pennsylvania. We're going from one coast to the other coast. Wow. Well, um, we want to thank you guys for you know for hanging in there with us, and, and those of you who write comments after the show, after the after all of this is collated up, and we um, collated up. Do you think they actually collate the the digital images? Well, whatever they do, <laughs> where you can watch it again after we sign off, right? Whatever happens, whatever magic happens, so you can then see it again. Um, we hope that you uh, uh, take the time to, you know, make leave a comment if you have a question um, and you want it answered on the show. Um, you can tell me that, and you can either write us directly at gingercooklive.gallery, use the contact us, or you can leave a question in the comments and say, I'd love if you would answer it on next week's show. And Just like we did this do. week. Just we like actually we did. did it. And uh, we'll, we'll try to remember. <laughs> and uh, and again, thanks everybody. Thanks for wait, wait, wait. You, you're signing off. I haven't congratulated Ronald uh, Canardi. Ronald Canardi, what? From Pennsylvania for from... winning the Salvador. Oh, Ronald! Awesome. He is so excited he can't stand it. Well, I don't know if he's still well, with us. Should but... be. Well, I, I would be. Yes. I'm always happy when I get them. Well, you should be. <laughs> and someday I'm going to be able to use them. You think so? It's like just backgrounds. Can I do a little more while we're talking about Ronald? Yeah, might as well. I see something. It's dried now. I see something I want to do. See, right here in the photograph, it's a little bit lighter right there. Now, remember, if you want to uh, basic supporters and up, have, uh, you have all the all our traceables for from 2000 and up till today. 2020, 20, 20, what? 2020? Yeah. 2020 and 21 are the, yeah. the traceables and the photograph resources are available for that and um, so we appreciate that that's just 495 a month and we feel that that's a nice thing and uh, here's the bottom of his, his elbow well we really appreciate here. everybody coming uh, with any luck this year we will we'll reach a hundred thousand I think we can do it when we got 80,000 to go or whatever it is 8,000 <laughs> Eventually, right? You guys, hopefully, we'll... Yeah, only 8,000 more to go. Awesome, we'll come. And you can if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And um, and tell your friends. And be sure to watch the, the, our trip on Tuesdays. And remember, when Acrylic April comes up, she'll be on every day. So, you know, it'll be fun. That's my daughter, Cinnamon. So give her a shout-out. And, um, and uh, you know, hey, have a fabulous painting week. And we'll see you next Monday. Next Monday, we'll be back. Bye, everyone.